Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your full moon in Taurus reading. This is for around November 12th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, but we are just going to see what this full moon has in store. This reading may or may not be for you. This is just a message that I am picking up on. We're going to start right here. Temptation. Temptation. Somebody is going to be very tempted. Or they have been. Somebody may have been tempted by something that wasn't good from the, for them. And perhaps now they got to pay the price. Who knows? This is a day of temptation. Be careful. Make sure your eyes are open. Tempted by lust. Tempted by greed. One card, please. Compassion. There's a need for compassion on this day. Somebody may be needing some tender loving care. Somebody is feeling down. And they've they've probably been, been begging for help. I feel as though their prayers have been heard. Their prayers have been heard. And perhaps the divine is going to send some help. Somebody from above has been listening. Somebody has been praying. And somebody has heard. I feel as though somebody's prayers are going to be answered. There's, this this day is all about love, okay? It's all about love. It is. And there's going to be some sort of union that is coming into focus. One card, please, for the Taurus full moon on November 12th. The lovers. There are two people coming together that are meant to be together. There is going to be some sort of union, a partnership, a new contract, or a renewal of a contract. I do have to remind you that lovers that this lover's card does not always mean sexual partners. This is a soulmate contract. We have multiple soulmates in a lifetime. This could be an intimate partner. This could be reuniting with a family member. This could be... Uh, Friends, okay, this is two people coming together that are meant to come together. This is Cupid bringing two people together that are meant to be together at this time. This is also an unexpected union, something that happens suddenly out of the blue. There is going to be some sort of... uh 
unexpected choice or an unexpected movement of some source some sort there is this is a card of love heals it is a card of love heals so there is two people coming together that can help each other heal this person has been begging praying for this union and there is going to be a union this may not be who you think it is and that is usually the case with the lover's card you think it's somebody else but it's not it's somebody that you don't it's somebody else okay it's somebody that is unusual it's who you wouldn't think it's not who you think it is that's what I'm trying to say So there is going to be an unexpected choice in love, an unexpected union. Two people are coming together unexpectedly on this day. And it doesn't have to be in a sexual manner. There is definitely a unhealthy energy around, okay? There is. Somebody has been tempted by greed, ego, pride, lust, habits, unhealthy habits, addictions, somebody, control, manipulation. Somebody has been under another person's or, an, or another energy, uh, an unhealthy energy's control. Okay? Somebody has been in an unhealthy situation that may have been gratifying for a moment, but wasn't meant to last. Somebody was tempted for all the wrong reasons and probably made some poor choices based on greed ego and pride I feel as though today is a day of recovery from an unhealthy situation where somebody went down the wrong path based on the need For instant gratification. Now somebody is in need of tender loving care. And it's like there's a higher power involved. Bringing two people together. To help somebody heal. Somebody's prayers are being answered. I'm positive. What do we got? We could be dealing with a Leo. We could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn who are working together perhaps to bring somebody down. This person is very shallow. This person is very self-centered and conceited. These two people or two energies were working together. Doesn't have to be a Leo, doesn't have to be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but we have we have a, a shallow, selfish, conceited, prideful, cowardly energy here. These two individuals, I think it's two individuals, were working together. Very, very prideful, very, very egotistical. This is somebody who you, is unreasonable, wants complete power and control. Somebody has been ruled by the devil. Somebody <laughs> let the wrong energy take over.
very greedy and selfish. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius so far. We have somebody here that is so self-centered and naive and egotistical and prideful. They have brought in another person to their knees. This person has been begging for salvation and somebody has answered somebody has heard their prayers. Tempted by all the wrong things. Trying to prove a point to society. But this is a loss. This is a loss. Ooh, there's about to be a major disruption on the home front. Home front disruption. Things are about to change just like that. There's about to be a massive change. This is the universe coming in to wipe it out. All that is not real, all that is not stable, all that is not secure, all that was built on false pretenses, gone. So we have a rude awakening. Somebody is about to get a rude awakening. Their self-centered, egotistical, cowardly, shallow ways are about to be dealt with. Thanks to the universe. Somebody is about to receive some unwelcome news. They were mean-spirited. This person had nothing good to say. This person went down the wrong path. This person... Uh, was very petty and immature. May have been confused by lust, greed, and society and trying to prove themselves. This person is about to experience a loss. They are going to receive some bad news. Somebody is going to receive some bad news. There's going to be some sort of split, some sort of separation. Could have to do with the family. Justice, karma, is about to be served on this day. We could be dealing with a Libra. There is going to be a final verdict. There is going to be a decision that is made. Somebody has been sacrificing themselves. They have been sacrificing something. They have been trying to prove a point. They have been keeping quiet. They have been in a situation that has been keeping them stuck. But now somebody is seeing something from a new perspective and they're going to do whatever it takes to break themselves free from this stagnant situation. Somebody is about to change their tone. They're letting go. They're letting go. Not going to fight this anymore. They've been reluctant for a long time. They've been holding on for dear life. But now they've been burnt. Now they're bleeding. Now they're down. They can't do it anymore. Somebody's about to blow up by the looks of things. There's a relationship that has no growth. Somebody lied. Somebody came in and, and said that this was all about love. They said they loved another person. 
they, they said all the right things, but they had no follow through. And now there's some sort of truth that is about to be revealed. A decision is going to be made. Somebody has been weighed down heavily by the fact that they have to let go. This person has been begging, begging for salvation, begging for help. And it's like nobody has been listening. Nobody has cared, but somebody has heard from above. And it's like they're bringing an angel in. This is seeing things from a new perspective, letting go, opening up. There's about to be a major disruption with that tower card. Somebody is about to explode. The Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody that is down to earth, efficient, routine oriented. This is somebody who is practical. This person moves slow, thinks very, very much before they take action. Somebody has been thinking about taking action. They've been thinking about breaking free. They've been thinking about what they've had to do or what they need to do for a long time. They have. They've been seriously weighed down by it. All they wanted was love. But they were taken advantage of. And somebody that they were dealing with acted rec recklessly and took advantage of them. And it's like now they realize that they have to break free. They have to break free. It's time to take this risk. But there's fear. Somebody has been really, really fearful of starting over. Fearful of taking this risk. Fearful of what was going to happen if they told the truth. What was going to happen if they let go? What was going to happen if they opened up? But I think we've have some, we have somebody here that is going to find the strength, the inner strength, and the confidence, and the willpower. To follow their heart. And go after big love. So I think that there is an opportunity for love here. Somebody is going after love. There is going to be some sort of reunion. Somebody is going to find the confidence to take a step. They're going to take a step towards something that they have been afraid to engage in. It's like they've been afraid to express their heart or to express themselves. They've been afraid to follow their heart. This is afraid, but they're going to do it. They're going to do it. I feel as though somebody is turning their back on a loveless situation and they are headed towards something very emotionally fulfilling. It's like, I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to go where the love is at. I just have to do for it. Go do it. It's like this person just decides to go for it and it causes a major disruption in somebody else's life with that tower card underneath. It's like, I got to turn my back on this loveless situation. I just got, this is just do it. I just got to do it. It's like they find their confidence and their strength. Then they, it's like this person all of a sudden becomes brave. I think they're sick of the tears, they're sick of grieving, they're sick of the sadness. They just they just want to be happy now and they see an opportunity. It's like I see an opportunity for love and I am going for it. So I feel as though there is going to be a reunion because somebody takes a step. They take a step in a new direction. And they and they head they head towards somebody that you never would have expected. It's like you never would have ever expected this type of union. It's like these. this isn't your 
usual kind of thing. Um, there is a new prospect here, a new love prospect. And somebody has realized it. It's like they realize this is an opportunity for love. I'm taking it. So I feel like we have two people coming together that are meant to be together in a very unusual way. I, this doesn't have to be actual lovers. It could be anybody. Two people are coming together that are meant to come together. Um, justice is about to be served. It's It's almost like... universal law because the tower is universe and this is law so it's like universal law steps in and breaks somebody free and brings in this perfect match so there's a perfect match here there's this soulmate connection almost instant it's like an instant soulmate connection it's like you feel it it's like when you when you when you run into this person's arms or you touch this person's arms or when you get close to this person you just know you just know interesting huh so anyway this is love this is all about love we have a reunion here we have a reunion of two people that are meant to be and this reunion could be new love because this is definitely a soulmate connection. There's no doubt about it. Um, ooh, the lovers. But you see over here, it goes from this to this. Remember I said somebody is leaving behind a loveless situation that wasn't meant to be. And they are reuniting with the right one. That's exactly what we have here as well. This is beginning to realize that that didn't work out for a reason there's a reason why it didn't work out because this is your actual soulmate. This is your actual one. This is the one you are meant to be with. So keep in mind, soulmates are not always sexual partners. I just have to reiterate that because some people really don't get it. We have multiple soulmates in a lifetime. Could be children, could be parents, could be lovers, could be best friends. We have soul circles, okay? So there's two people coming together that are meant to come together. And this, these two people are being brought together by a higher power. There's a higher power involved. Somebody's prayers have been answered. This person has been begging to be loved. And they are going to be loved. It's like the universe, God, angels, whatever, Cupid, whoever it is, are bringing these two people together right now at this time. This is very unusual. It's not who you think it is, but it's somebody that you are meant to be with. This is going to happen very, very suddenly. There's going to be a sudden entrance. It's all of a sudden this person arrives. It's like, here they are. This is what you've been waiting for. So be prepared. Be really, really prepared. Something is there about to arrive that you do not expect. This is not who you think it is. Good luck.